Hello, crafty friends. It's November 2022, and it's time for the Karen Berniston Designer Challenge. This month, she challenged us with Snowman, so I decided that I wanted to have my little Frosty the Snowman doffing his top hat. So I used the mailbox mechanism and a snowman doffing his hat. He's just turned out so cute, and I hope that you'll be encouraged to make one, and I'm going to show you just how to do that. So let's get started. I've gone ahead and cut my card base. This is a four and a half by six and a quarter size card, and I have all the measurements on my blog if you'd like to, to visit me there, and it is linked below. I went ahead put my panels on the front and on the inside of the card and then installed the mailbox exactly as Karen shows you how to do it in her instruction video which is linked below. I did make a few little changes. When I got it uh, before I installed it, I cut this off a little bit because it wasn't necessary to have as much height as there was there. I cut off this little guy here so he wouldn't get stuck in glue when I glue my snowman on. And then also for this little piece, I doubled it so that I would have extra strength. I'm going to go ahead now, put my prototype on, and see how it works. And if that's all good, we'll move on to the snowman. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I always like to do a test, and I always make what I call an ugly prototype. And this card is no exception. So here I have Frosty with his top hat, but he's made out of some scratch paper that I tested out some of my markers with, but it was good enough for my ugly prototype. So now that I see that it's going to work, I'm going to remove this because I've only got it on there with temporary adhesive. I'm going to remove the hat and I'm going to add my new snowman, my good one. Here he is. So cute. Here's his little cap so he can doff his cap and I'm going to also show you on the arm, the way I created the arm for the snowman to move up and down on the mailbox mechanism, is I cut out one of the trees, and all of the dies that I've used are listed in the description box below, so check that out. But anyway, I cut out two because I wasn't sure how many I would need, and for his hand that holds the hat right here, I used this section right here because it looks like Actually, I used it on this side so that I could have his fingers behind that and have him hold his hat right here and have part of that show. So that's the way I did that. I just cut that out and then cut it up in two little pieces and created it the way I wanted it. All right, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to add my little Frosty the Snowman along with some other embellishments. I'll be back in a minute. While I was off camera, I went ahead and put the phrases on the card. I didn't think you needed to watch me glue things on the card because that's kind of boring. Anyway, on the front I put burr. On the inside I put let it snow. I also added a couple of snowflakes to the mailbox section that's going to show over here on the other side of the snowman. And I was careful not to let it go over this part here so that it would bend or it would be destroyed in some way. So I'm going to go ahead now, add the remaining elements, and we'll just see how this little guy turns out. First of all, I'm going to use, well, one other thing that I did while it was gone on off camera is I did reinforce the arm because I thought maybe the hat would be a little heavier, might need a little reinforcement. So what I'm going to do now is add the branch onto that section. I'm going to put a little glue right here and then up here because I've already laid it out so I know approximately where it's going to go. So I want to put that in here. I want to put his little elbow sort of here. And then I'm going to have to push it down. Okay, so now I got him glued on there. Well, I got the arm glued on there. So now it goes up and down and we're going to add the hat. You can add, you can make this taller if you want it to, but remember when it closes, that's going to go towards the center of the card, so you want to leave enough room once you add the hat on there. Okay, next I'm going to line up the little snowman so that 
this arm over here looks like it's coming out just the same as this arm over here so he, he doesn't look too lopsided but he is a snowman so it doesn't really matter I'm going to put the glue on the mailbox right here all the way up and down now I'm going to add the snowman I'm going to push him down here okay now let that glue set up I think later I'm going to put a little glue over here just so he doesn't go crooked on me but for right now I think he's good now I want to be careful I'm going to put something underneath here a piece of plastic so I just want to put a little bit of glue right here where his hat's going to go and then in the open position I want his hat kind of like that so I'm going to press that down so it looks like he's holding his hat. Okay, now, the big test. Oh yeah, just what we wanted. So cute. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you'll visit me on my blog where I have more instructions and measurements and pictures. So until then, bye-bye.